This is Mahmoud Hassan Meras. Welcome to another session tutorial of SOLIDWORKS. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the top view. This is the back side view and this is the right side view. First we will start drawing from the top view. In the top view, first I will draw a 50 by 50 rectangle and then after that we will extrude both that rectangle to 25 unit okay let's start so first select the top plane then sketch then select center rectangle now place the rectangle to the origin now dimension it 50 by 50 then isometric it go to features and then extrude boss and extrude boss it to 25 unit okay here we can see in the right side we have a semicircle of 12.5 unit and in the back side we have a semicircle of 5 radius and we have a diving path of and uh, 45 radius and another rectangle another rectangular part which has a fillet of 15 radius okay in this part i will draw this total part by using the surface tool after using the surface tool i will use the extra cut tools to cut through this point okay so I will first start from the right side. I will first draw a 12.5 unit semicircle. So go to right side and select the right surface and select sketch. Now normal to it. Okay. Now I will try to draw. A rectangle sorry I will try to draw a circle so I have selected a circle then placing the circle here and dimension it 12.5 into 2 which will be 25 unit I will go to smart dimension I will dimension it 12.5 plus 5 okay now I'm selecting this circle and now this line now dimension it 12.5 plus 5 7.5 unit now press ok select this upper line because I don't want to draw another line then convert entities now select the trim entities now trim the all the unnecessary part and this will give our semi circle if you want to see a clear view I will isometric it okay now exit sketch now in the back side i will samely draw a, a radius 5 semicircle which will apart from 5 unit from left side okay now select the surface now go to sketch i will normal to it now select circle and draw a circle of 5 into 2 diameter now select smart dimension now select this circle and this line and dimension it 5 unit of radius and 5 units apart from the line in here i will select this line because i don't want to draw another line then I will convert into this. Now I will trim all the part so that I can get a semicircle. Okay. You can use the arc function to draw a semicircle. Okay. Now I will exit a sketch. Here we in the top surface we can see 
that we I have a curve which is a 45 radius and here it is separate from 5 unit and also this side 5 unit so I'll first draw this line so I will select this top surface and then sketch now I will normal to it first I will point out those 5 unit distance by point pointer so I will taking two points now press ok after that after that I will select three point arc select three point arc now select this point and another point now dimension it to 45 unit now press ok I will asymmetric it for a clear view now exit sketch now here we can see we have a half rectangular shape then this corner is filleted 15 unit of radius so I will again select the top surface then sketch then normal to it now select corner rectangle then place a corner to this point and another corner to that point now press ok now you can use the trim entities to erase the corner a rectangle of other two line two line of, of the rectangle then press ok now select fillet here you can see we have a fillet of 15 units so i'll fillet 15 unit and select this point now press ok i will isometric it for a clear view now into the sketch as we will going to draw a surface so first i will hide the previous extrude boss of part after that okay now go to surface and select the boundary surface now select this point and this point and from direction to select this line of direction and this line of direction now place ok as we can see we have drawn the sur surface boundary surface now we will select the if boss extrude and show in here we can see that now i will draw this tubular shape in the top surface then i will extrude cut it to uh, the boundary surface one okay so i will be selecting the top surface and then sketch normal to it as we can see i have drawn this surface from this sketch so i will convert into this this sketch and also this sketch i will convert into that also i will select this line and convert into this and also this line and convert into this to get a, get a close boundary so i will trim all sorry to get a close boundary so i will trim all the part that i don't need now press ok i will isometric beam it to get a clear view now i will go to features and then extrude cut here we can see the extrude cut is going through all the last part so i want to get a super part of this surface shape so i select and uh, direction to up to surface and from this tree i select the boundary surface one now press ok now we have seen that we have got our shape like this 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end 
Thanks for watching. And. Keep learning. Be different.